welcome to our problem section in solution you must write this problem in your notebook and and just read the question and i uh, work out this question for you just listen first question 0.6 gram of solute is dissolved in 0.6 gram of solute dissolved in 0.1 liter of solvent which develops an osmotic pressure of 1.23 atm at 27 degrees celsius molecular mass of substance is they ask you to find out molecular mass of the substance they given first for any question you must write what they are given in your question 0.6 gram of solute 0.6 gram of solute so w2 is equal to 0.6 gram 0.6 gram dissolved in 0.1 liter of solution 0.1 liter means volume volume is equal to 0.1 liter so that which develops an osmotic pressure we have this solution this equation relating to osmotic pressure osmotic pressure we can calculate mass of the substance by using osmotic pressure equation we have osmotic pressure i is equal to 1.23 gram 1.23 gram at 27 degrees celsius temperature 27 degrees celsius or 27 plus 273 is equal to 300 Kelvin. You should, you should convert, you should standardize the units to SI. SI, SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. So you must add 272 to the, sorry, 273 to the 27 and you get 300 Kelvin. So we have the equation pi. Pi means osmotic pressure pi is equal to w2 w2 rt by m2 v w2 rt by m2 v what is m2 m2 is molecular mass we can rearrange the m2 is equal to w2 rt by pi v where w2 is given R, where R is R, R is universal gas constant, it is 8.314. Temperature T is given, pi is, osmotic pressure is given, volume is given. Just, just substitute and give the answer. W2 is equal to 0.6 into 8.314 into temperature 300 Kelvin divided by V volume 0.1 into 1.23 while calculating this we get the answer as 120 gram per mole 120 gram per mole almost 120 gram per mole answer is B answer is B so you must read you must read this const this question very constantly and this question is to find out mass of the substance by using osmotic pressure equation. Osmotic pressure equation is pi is equal to W2RT by M2V. Then we will get the answer as 120 gram per mole. Okay. You clear that? You got that? Then you, you may write this in your notebook. Okay. Okay. Next question. Second question. Question. Which of the following is incorrect for an ideal solution? Which of the following is an incorrect for an ideal solution? We know that an ideal solution is which obeys Raoult's law for entire range of concentration. Which obeys Raoult's law for entire range of concentration. We have the options A. Delta V H mix is equal to 0. B. Delta U mix is equal to 0. And C. Delta P is equal to P observed minus P calculated by Raoult's law is equal to 0 and D delta G mix is equal to 0. We know that we have for an ideal solution delta H mix is equal to 0 and delta V mix is equal to 0. 
Hence, first option is not incorrect, it's a correct option. Delta H mix is equal to 0. And check the uh, second option, delta U mix is equal to 0. We have the equation delta U mix is equal to delta H mix minus P delta V mix. Here, delta H mix and delta V mix is equal to 0. Hence, delta U mix is equal to 0. So, delta U mix is correct for an ideal solution. And a third option, delta P, e delta P is equal to delta P is equal to P observed minus P calculated by Raoult's law is equal to 0. This option, option is also correct. We have equation PA is equal to P0A XA and PB is equal to P0B XB. P0B XB. So, this difference we get 0. And the last option, delta G mix is equal to 0. Delta G mix. Delta G mix is equal to, what is the equation for delta G? Delta G is equal to, equation for delta G is equal to delta H mix minus delta H mix minus delta H mix minus T delta S mix. T delta X mix. For an ideal solution, delta S, sorry, delta S mix not equal to zero. For an ideal solution, Delta X S mix is not equal to 0. Hence, Delta mix not equal to 0. Hence, which of the following is an incorrect for an ideal solution? The option B is incorrect for an ideal solution. Okay. You got that point? Okay. You just rewind this question once more and you will get the answer. Next question. Third question. An ideal solution was obtained by mixing methanol and ethanol. An ideal solution obtained by mixing methanol and ethanol. If the partial vapor pressure of methanol and ethanol is 2.619 kPa and 4.556 kPa respectively. Composition of vapors in terms of mole fraction will be. Composition of vapors in terms of mole fraction will be. Answer, they give four options. This question is related to mole fraction and vapor pressure. This question related to mole fraction and vapor pressure. We have the equation P is P1 is equal to X1 P total or P2 is equal to X2 P total. Then we have the equation we know that mole fraction mole fraction mole fraction is, is equal to mole fraction is, is equal to partial pressure partial mole fraction is equal to partial pressure divided by partial pressure divided by total pressure total pressure total pressure we have two components methanol and ethanol total pressure p Total is equal to partial pressure of methanol is 2.619 and partial pressure of ethanol is 4.556. We get the answer is just calculate plus 4.556 is equal to 571. 7. 7.175 Total pressure we get 7.175 Then mole fraction Mole fraction of methanol Me or Mole fraction of methanol What is the partial pressure of methanol? Partial pressure of methanol is 2.619 2.619 619 9 divided by total pressure what they get what we get 7.175 answer is answer is point, point 
0.365. Okay, so more fraction of methanol, more fraction of methanol we get 0.365. More fraction of methanol we get 0.365. So the answer is B. So the answer is B. And just check the mole fraction of ethanol. Phi is equal to methanol and the mole fraction of ethanol is equal to 1 minus mole fraction of 1 minus mole fraction of Me over H is equal to 1 minus 0.365 is equal to 0.635. We get the answer. We get the answer. Which of the following depend on temperature? Very simple question as we discuss this question in the discussion part. Okay. Which of the following is so depends on temperature? Molality, weight per stage, mole fraction, and molality. Answer is, you know that? Answer is, first A1, molality. 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 Because molality is the number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. Because volume depends on temperature. Volume depends on temperature. Very easy question, but it is asking for a uh, 2016 or 15th need question. Okay. Fifth question. The following 0.1 molar aqueous solution. Of the following 0.1 molar aqueous solution, which one will exhibit? Which one will exhibit largest freezing point depression? Which one will exhibit largest freezing point depression? We have the answer. We have the equation delta Tf. Delta Tf means depression in freezing point is equal to I into Kf into M. What is I? I means I means van Hoff factor. Kf is equal to cryoscopic constant and M is equal to molality. Here, molality of these four electrolytes are same. Molality or concentration is same. And I, so delta Tf is proportional to van Hoff factor. Delta Tf is proportional to van Hoff factor. Delta T, van Hoff factor increases, depression in freezing point increases. So, for the following point, one molar aqueous solution, which one will be exhibit largest freezing point depression? So, we can calculate, we have to calculate I, Van Hoff factor for these four electrolytes. First one, Van Hoff factor. First one, your electrolyte, KCl, KCl, which ionized as, which ionized as, which ionizes as K plus and Cl minus. K plus KCl, K plus plus Cl minus. Hence, its, it's Van Hoff factor is number ions 2, and Van Hoff factor is 2. Second question C6H12O6, which is not an electrolyte, and it does not ionize. Hence, its Van Hoff factor is 1. Next question L2SO4 thrice. L2 SO4 thrice, which is dissociate as 2 Al3 plus plus 3 SO4 2 minus 2 Al and 3 SO4. So it's Van Hoff factor I is equal to L2 SO4 thrice Van Hoff factor is equal to 5. Van Hoff factor is 5. Next is K2 SO4. K2 SO4 is equal to K2 SO4 gets dissociated into 2 K plus plus SO4 2 minus. So Van Hoff factor is Van Hoff factor for K2 SO4 is equal to 3. Then we have Van Hoff factor increases, depression in freezing point increases. Van Hoff factor I is greater for L2 SO4 thrice. Hence answer is. 3 answer is option C L2 SO4 thrice because Van Hoff factor Van Hoff factor proportional to depression in freezing point. Van Hoff factor increases, depression in freezing point increases. And the answer is L2 SO4 thrice. Okay, you got that point. You just refer uh, last three section, the discussion section that we learn. Next question. Six, six question. An aqua solution is 1.00 molar in Ki. Aqua solution is 1.0 molar in Ki. Which change will cause 
vapor pressure of solution to increase will which change will cause vapor pressure of solution to increase what is this question here here one mole ki dissolved in aqueous solution one mole ki dissolved in aqueous solution okay then which change will cause vapor pressure to increase so aqueous solution has a pure aqueous solution pure solute water has a vapor pressure when ki is added its vapor pressure increases sorry vapor pressure decreases then which cause which will cause vapor pressure of solution to increase okay first addition of nacl nacl is a solute addition of nacl causes more ions more solute particle at the surface of liquid hence vapor pressure decreases but this answer is not correct then second answer addition of na2so4 this is also a solute hence when na2so4 is added the concentration of ions concentration of solute ions increases hence vapor pressure vapor pressure decreases and third addition of one molar one mole ki addition of one mole ki which also increases the i number of ions in solution or decreases or increases the concentration of ki so this is not an answer then addition of water addition of water means addition of solvent addition of solvent means addition concentration of solvent increases or number of solvent molecule increases so addition of water molecules may cause the increase in vapor pressure addition of water may cause increase in vapor pressure okay very simple question you got that point that we will discuss in the discussion part okay seventh question 12 g of urea molecular mass 60 dissolved in 1 liter of water and 68 g of sucrose bracket in molecular mass is equal to 342 dissolved in 1 liter of water lowering of vapor pressure of urea is lowering of vapor pressure of urea is first we have to calculate number of moles number of moles of urea and sucrose number of moles number of moles number of moles of urea is equal to number of moles of urea is equal to given mass by molecular mass that is 12 by 12 by 68 we have equation to calculate number of moles that is given mass by molecular mass very simple equation that we learned from uh, 10th onwards 10th and 12th and 11th and 12th okay number of moles is of number of number of moles is equal to given mass by molecular mass 12 by 68 given mass is 12 and molecular mass 68 we get 0.2 mole then number of moles of sucrose is equal to given mass given mass 68.4 68.4 divided by molecular mass 342 is equal to this then calculate we get 0.2 mole so number of moles are same number of moles are same hence mole fraction are same number of moles are same then mole fraction is same mole fraction is same number of moles are same hence mole fraction is same mole fraction is same then lowering of vapor pressure is same mole fraction is same then lowering of vapor pressure is same mole fraction is same then lowering lowering of vapor pressure is same mole fraction is lowering of vapor pressure is same okay so we get mole fraction as mole fraction mole fraction mole fraction of urea is equal to 
picture. Hence, we get molarity as just calculating 0.5 molar. 0.5 molar. And the answer is D. And the answer is D. 0.5 molar. Next thing. Then this is simple question. You just work out in your home. Independent. Okay. The question. Isotonic solution means. Isotonic solution means same batch. Isotonic solution means same batch. Options. Osmotic pressure, surface tension, vapor pressure and the solubility. We know that osmotic pressure is the. Osmosis is the. Osmosis is the flow of solvent molecules from higher concentration to lower concentration osmotic pressure is the osmotic pressure is the pressure applied to stop the osmosis okay then isotonic solution means same osmotic pressure isotonic solution means same osmotic pressure Okay, isotonic solution means same osmotic pressure. Okay, next thing, learn the question. If a solution boils at a temperature T1 and the temperature and the solvent at a temperature T2, elevation of boiling point is given by elevation means difference in temperature. Okay, elevation means increasing temperature. Elevation in boiling points, increasing in boiling point. Elevation boiling point is a difference. So positive options may positive and the, uh, division options may cancel. Then two options we have T1 minus T2 and T2 minus T1. Just listen. Solution boils at temperature T1 and solvent boils at T2. We know that solvent, we know that. Solution has higher boiling point than solvent. Solution has higher boiling point than solvent. Solution has higher boiling point than solvent. So higher value T1 minus T2 is a correct answer. Higher value T1 minus T2 is the correct answer for this question. If the solution boils at a temperature T1 and the solvent at a temperature T2, elevation of boiling point is given by T1 minus T2. Okay, very simple question. Next, actual question. Solubility of gas in liquid increases with solubility of gas increases with we know that Raoult's law says that pressure partial pressure partial vapor pressure increases proportional to molarity molarity or mole sorry partial pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction as from from Raoult's law we know that solubility of gas in liquid Henry's laws from Henry's law solubility of gas in liquid increases with increases with pressure we know that we apply pressure on a gas in a liquid container we apply pressure and solubility increases so increasing pressure increases the solubility solubility of gas increases with increasing pressure increasing pressure then solubility of gas gas in liquid gas in liquid gaseous molecules come to liquid so it is a condensation it evolves heat when pressure temperature increases solubility decreases when temperature decreases solubility increases very simple question i will explain once more solubility of gas in liquid increases with increase in pressure and decrease in temperature increases with pressure and decrease in temperature very simple question what is the mole fraction of solute in one one molar aqueous solution what is the mole fraction of one molar aqueous solution what is the mole fraction of solute in 
1 molar aqueous solution 1 molar aqueous solution means what what do you mean by 1 molar aqueous solution 1 molar aqueous solution means 1 molar aqueous solution means 1 mole of solute dissolved in 1 mole of solute dissolved in 1000 gram of water 1000 gram of water 1 molar aqueous solution means 1 mole of solute dissolved in 100 gram of water then we just what is the mole fraction of 1 mole of solute we have water and the water and the solute solute has number of moles of 1 and water number of moles of water number of moles of water is equal to what is equal to how much number of moles of water is equal to we given 1000 gram divided by water has molecular mass 18 so we get we get answer okay this number of moles then mole fraction fraction of solute we have the equation Na divided by Na plus Nb Na plus Nb then Na is the number of moles of solute we have one molar aqueous solution is equal to one mole of solute so number of moles is equal to one divided by one plus number of moles of water is thousand divided by 18 is equal to this calculation 1 by 56.7 I think 1 to 1 1 by 56.5 1 by 56.5 we just calculate just uh, some tricks to calculate this and the value is point A. the value is the point A. 0 1 7 7 so the answer of is option C very simple question to find out more important question mixture that forms maximum boiling azeotrope maximum boiling azeotrope we know that what is an azeotrope 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 is a binary mixture of binary mixture its composition is same in liquid phase and vapor phase and it boils at the constant temperature azeotrope is a binary mixture having composition in liquid and vapor phase are same and it boils at a constant temperature there we know that two types of azeotropes are there one is maximum boiling azeotrope and the second one is minimum boiling azeotrope what is maximum boiling azeotrope a maximum boiling azeotrope is which deviates positively from round slope which is the maximum sorry maximum boiling azeotrope uh, deviates negatively from azeotrope round slope okay negatively from azeotrope uh, round slope is called a maximum boiling azeotrope a solution which is uh, deviates positively from round slope is called a minimum boiling azeotrope a uh, a solution which is deviate positively from round slow is called a minimum boiling azeotrope so uh, once again maximum boiling azeotrope is a solution which is deviates negatively from round slow and the minimum boiling azeotrope deviates from round slow positively for example we have the question mixture that forms maximum boiling azeotrope the answer is water plus nitric acid water plus nitric acid water plus nitric acid forms a maximum boiling azeotrope and the ethanol plus water ethanol plus water which forms maximum sorry minimum boiling azeotrope ethanol plus water which forms minimum boiling azeotrope okay so the answer is water plus and nitric acid is the example of maximum boiling azeotrope. Next, next, next 15 questions. From the colligative properties of solution, which one method is best for calculating molecular mass? Which for calculating molecular mass of proteins and polymers? 
this question we discussed in this the discussion topic from the colligative properties of solution which one method is best for calculating molecular mass of molecular mass of proteins and the molecules okay here four options lowering of vapor pressure depression in freezing point osmotic pressure and elevation in boiling point here the option c is the correct answer because osmotic pressure we know that what is osmotic pressure once osmotic pressure may calculate at any temperature at a room temperature or at any temperature so osmotic pressure is very useful for calculating molecular mass of proteins and a polymers another cause uh, pro osmotic pressure we calculate molarity molarity not molality here in the case of osmotic pressure we calculate molarity so molarity calculation is very easy for us so only from the colligative properties of solution osmotic pressure measurement is very best method for method for calculating molecular mass of proteins and a polymer simple question may ask in your entrance exams okay next thing 16th question all forms ideal solution all forms ideal solution except all form ideal solution except what is an ideal solution an ideal solution what is an ideal solution an ideal solution which obeys raoult's law over entire range of concentration what is a non ideal solution a non ideal solution is a solution which does not obey raoult's law over entire range of concentration we have two types of non ideal solution that are positive deviation and the negative deviation here the question is all forms ideal solution except the answer is the answer is option d answer is option d because are others form ideal solution just discuss options option a benzene plus toluene c6h6 is benzene and c6h5ch3 is a toluene so benzene and toluene forms ideal solution second one C2H6 and C2H5I, C2H6 and C2H5G. I just change the option here. C2H6 just an error from my side. Okay, C2H6 and C2H5I. C2H6 is ethyl and C2H5 is ethyl iodide. Okay, next thing. this forms. ideal solution third one c6h5cl and c6h5br c6h5cl is chlorobenzene and c2h5br is bromobenzene chlorobenzene and bromobenzene forms ideal solution next option d c2h5i plus c2h5oh c2h5i is iodo ide and this one is ethanol this is not forms an ideal solution so the option d is the correct for this question all forms ideal solution except option d next thing come to the 17th question for a binary ideal liquid solution variation of total vapor pressure versus mole fraction of solution is given by width of the curve here three curves and the option d is no of this they ask me to identify the curve for ideal solution ideal solution they ask me to find out the curve for ideal solution here in a curve we plot on uh, vapor pressure on x axis and the mole fraction on y axis vapor pressure on x axis and the mole fraction on y axis here also vapor pressure on x uh, y axis and mole fraction on x axis okay we know that for an ideal solution for an ideal liquid solution the curve is straight and straight curve is obtained for an ideal solution option curve a is a straight line option b is not a straight line and option c is not a straight line okay then option d is none of this the option a is the correct answer option a is the correct answer we in this graph we total vapor pressure versus 
mole fraction total vapor pressure versus mole fraction and then uh, we have the relation p total proportional to mole fraction p total proportional to mole fraction proportional to and if we get a stride leg we should get a we must get a stride leg option b is not a stride leg so this is not a ideal solutions graph and if option c is also not a ideal solutions graph okay once again i repeat for a binary liquid solution variation of total vapor pressure versus mole fraction of solution is given by which of the following term here option a is correct because vapor pressure uh, proportional to mole fraction and they give we get a straight line from this graph okay option b is not a straight line option c is not a straight line some of you have some doubt that uh, this graph is chart from here or here okay this is a p total graph p total graph okay this is a p total graph it starts from here okay then i tell you question van hoff factor i for a dilute aqueous solution of a strong electrolyte of barium hydroxide is which this question is related to van hoff factor van hoff factor is related to abnormal molecular mass what is an abnormal molecular mass abnormal molecular mass is arises due to association or dissociation what is association and dissociation dissociation means a electrolyte dissociate into ions its ions in aqueous solution for example here barium hydroxide okay barium hydroxide in aqueous solution dissociate into barium ions and hydroxide ions dissociation and association molecular mass may change molecular mass may change this difficulty can be reduced by using van hoff factor this factor is introduced by a famous scientist van hoff van hoff factor is no uh, i van hoff factor you know that we will discuss uh, above class that van hoff factor i is equal to normal molecular mass by abnormal molecular mass normal molecular mass by abnormal molecular mass normal molecular mass by observed abnormal molecular mass or observed colligative property divided by normal colligative property or we have we discussed this in earlier problems that barium hydroxide barium hydroxide baoh choice which dissociate into ba2 plus and 2 oh minus ions ba2 plus and 2 oh minus ions here after dissociation we have three type of ions one barium ion and a 2 oh minus ion hence if we have the van hoff factor i is equal to 3 van hoff factor i is equal to 3 the option d is a d is the correct answer option d is the correct answer once again van hoff factor we can calculate van hoff factor from a dissociation equation here a barium hydroxide baoh choice we see dissociate into ba2 plus and 2 oh minus ion okay then we have van hoff factor here one barium ion and two oh minus ion hence three van hoff factor is three okay next are you got it okay next question 19th question a solution of urea urea has molecular mass 56 gram per mole a solution of urea boils at 100.1 degree, degree celsius an aqueous solution of urea molecular mass 56 gram per mole boils at 100.18 degree celsius at the atmospheric pressure if kf and kb for water are if kf and kb for water are 1.86 and 0.512 kilo kelvin kilogram per mole respectively the above solution will freeze the above solution will freeze 
the above solution will freeze. We have to find out freezing point of the above solution. We have to find out the freezing point of the above solution. Right, what they given? A solution of urea, molecular mass 56 gram per mole, boils at 100.18 degrees Celsius. So, boiling point is, boiling point is 100.18 degrees Celsius. We know that, we know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Aqua solution of water boils at 100 degree Celsius. At atmospheric pressure, if Kf and Kb for water are, Kf for water is 1.86, Kf for water is 1.86, Kf for water is 1.86 and Kb for water is, Kb for water is 0.512. 0.512 respectively. The above solution will freeze. So we have the equation. So we have the equation. What is the equation? Delta Pb is equal to Kb into M. Delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. Just divide these two equation. Delta Tb divided by Delta Tf. Delta Tb divided by Delta Tf is equal to Kb into M divided by Kf into M. Just cut these two M's. Okay, then Delta Tb by Delta Tf is equal to Kb by Kf. What is Delta Tb? What is Delta Tb? Elevation in boiling point. Here, elevation in boiling point is this solution boils at 1 point in, sorry, 100.18 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So, delta Tb is equal to 0.18 because delta Tb is equal to, we have delta Tb is equal to Tb minus Tb0. So, 100.18 minus 100 is equal to 0.18 degrees Celsius. Delta Tb is equal to elevation in boiling point is equal to 0.18. Just substitute the equation to the equation. This equation. What is the equation? Delta Tb by Delta Tf is equal to Kb by Kf. We have the values delta Tb here 0.18. We have no value. We have to calculate this delta Tf and we have the value of Kb. There Kb is 0.512 and Kf the value 1.86. Just substitute the equation. Delta Tb. What is the value of delta Tb? Delta Tb is 0 0.18. 0 0.18 divided by delta Tf is equal to Kb, what is the value of Kb? Point A, 512 divided by Kf, what is the value of Kf? 1.86. So, just cross multiply. What we get? Delta Tf is equal to 0.18 into 1.86 divided by point A. 0 0.512, 0 0.512, 0.512. Then delta Tf we get point A, sorry, delta Tf we get as the value of this calculation we get point A, 654, 0 0.654, 0 0.654, 0 0.654, 0 0.654. Okay, 0.654, but we have not get the answer from this. Find out what above solution will freeze. What temperature the above solution will freeze. What temperature above solution will freeze. This is not the freezing temperature. This is just a this is just a depression in freezing point. Delta Tf, Delta Tf is equal to, Delta Tf is equal to 
tf0 minus tf delta df is equal to tf0 minus tf delta df we have delta df value point six five four then tf0 water tf0 means freezing point of water freezing point of water what is the freezing point of water zero degree celsius minus tf so value of tf is equal to minus 0.654 degree celsius okay option option b is the right answer option b is the right answer okay once again i explain we have the equation delta db is equal to kb into m and delta df is equal to kf into m once you get a question you must read your question very carefully and then and then write what they give okay then boiling point the solution of urea will freeze sorry boils at 100 degree celsius just note that water boils at we know that water boils at 100 degree celsius value of kf and kb are given then the value of delta db just simple calculation db gets delta db as 0.18 then we divide by these two equations and we get a simple equation delta db by delta tf is equal to this is an important relation you must study okay delta db by delta tf is equal to kb by kf then substitute our values and we get delta tf is equal to 0.654 but we not want delta df value we want tf value tf value what is the delta df is equal to tf0 minus tf delta df is equal to their substitute value and we get the answer tf is equal to minus 6.54 per degree celsius so option b is a right answer this is the last question of for you the 20th question the question is the freezing point depression constant for water is minus 1.86 if 5 gram of Na2SO4 is dissolved in 45 gram of H2O the freezing point changed by minus 3.82 calculate Van Hoff factor for Na2SO4 we have the we have four options okay first you must read the question very carefully and write not what they given okay i repeat the freezing point depression constant that is freezing point depression constant is kf the freezing point depression constant is kf the value of kf is minus 1.86 minus 1.86 if 5 gram of na2so4 Na2SO4 is a solute that is W2 is equal to 5 gram. If 5 gram of Na2SO4 dissolved in 45 gram of water, so water is a solvent, its gram weight is W1 is equal to 45 gram of water, then freezing point changed by minus 3.82 what is changed that is delta tf delta tf is equal to minus 3.82 minus 3.82 calculate van hoff factor for na2so4 calculate van hoff factor for na2so4 then we want to calculate van hoff factor by using the equation of freezing point freezing point equation then what is the equation for freezing the depression in freezing point delta tf delta tf depression in freezing point what is the equation delta df is equal to i into delta df is equal to i into what is i i is a van hoff factor i into kf into i into kf what is kf kf, KF is Freezing point depression constant I into KF into W2 into 1000. What is W2? W2 is a molecular, sorry, weight of 
weight of solute divided by divided by divided by m2 into m2 into m2 into w1 m2 into w1 this is a equation for depression in freezing point this is a equation for depression in freezing point okay then we are just to rearrange this equation i is equal to we want to calculate the van hoff factor i so i is equal to delta tf into m2 into w1 divided by kf into w2 into 1000 then we want just to substitute in the above equation what is the value of delta df here minus 3.82 minus 3.82 into what is the value of m2 what is m2 m2 is the molecular mass of solute molecular mass of solute m2 is equal to molecular mass of na2so4 is 142 142 then into 142 into w1 what is w1 weight of water weight of solvent is equal to 45 divided by what is the value of KF? Minus 1.86. 86 into, into, uh, what is the value of W2? 5 gram, 5 gram into 1000 is equal to, is equal to, these minus can be cancelled. Then we can cut all of this. Then at last we get the value of Van Van Hoff factor I as 2.63 2.63. The value of Van Hoff Van Hoff factor for Na2SO4 is 2.63. Okay. This is the answer for this question. Sorry. So the option for sorry that so. The option for this question is the sorry the answer for this question is option B 2.63. The option B is the correct answer. The Van Hoff factor is 2.63. Okay, we can conclude that we are the masters of this chapter solution. We were we just learned all the topics, all the points from the solution chapter. We are now the masters. Okay, we are now the masters, and you just exercise, you just write out uh, the main points of this chapter, and you just go through these all questions in in these two days, and you will you will do you will write all the exercise questions for this chapter that you get okay so i conclude this chapter very simple chapter solution we have seven seven breaks in this chapter what is types of solution then types of solution expressing concentration then solubility vapor pressure colligative property ideal and non-ideal solution and the last abnormal molecular mass you should study you must study the examples for ideal solution non-ideal solution and the azeotropes you must learn you must study the examples for these all and you should you should practice all of the questions that you get from anywhere through these two related to these topics okay you all understand the topic that we were studying today you do your homework from home if you have any doubt you may ask to me or your teachers okay thank you